Breaking news out of Volusia County. We've been showing you severe erosion in Wilbur by the sea and a home has collapsed into the ocean. It's the state everyone thinks they know. A land of sunshine, palm trees, theme parks, and endless beaches. Tourists pour in by the millions each year, chasing the dream of paradise. But what if I told you that beneath those turquoise waves lie something far more unsettling? Florida, for all its beauty, is sitting on a geological time bomb. Lately, the ocean around Florida has been behaving strangely. The seafloor collapses, mysterious sounds, glowing coral reefs that look like alien cities in distress, ancient ruins buried in the gulf, and even massive predators lurking in the black depths. What scientists are discovering beneath the surface of Florida's waters is rewriting everything we thought we knew about the oceans. And here's the frightening part. Many of these changes are happening in real time. Sinkholes are forming without warning. Methane gas is bubbling from the seafloor. Coral is literally lighting up like a neon distress signal. And sonar is capturing things so large and so fast that experts aren't sure whether they're even from this world. Florida's coast has always been vulnerable to hurricanes and rising seas. But what's unfolding now suggests something much larger. The ocean floor itself may be collapsing, destabilizing, and transforming in ways that could put millions of lives, billions of dollars in infrastructure, and even global climate stability at risk. So tonight, we're diving deep into 12 terrifying discoveries off Florida's coast. From sudden sinkholes swallowing the seafloor, to toxic death lakes and microbes that may not even belong to Earth, these findings prove one thing. Florida's oceans are far more mysterious and dangerous than we ever imagined. Buckle up, because once you see what's really happening under the waves, you may never look at Florida's beaches the same way again. It started as a routine mapping mission in late 2024. A NOAA research vessel was surveying the continental shelf near the Florida Straits, an area long thought to be stable. But what the sonar revealed that day stunned the entire crew. Massive circular depressions opening up on the ocean floor. These weren't small holes or cracks. Some stretched over 300 feet across and plunged deeper than a 30-story skyscraper. And here's the kicker. They weren't ancient features carved long ago. These sinkholes were forming actively, in real time, right beneath the research vessel. Cameras from underwater drones captured the eerie sight, swirling columns of sediment spiraling downward like liquid tornadoes, turbulent water currents rushing into the void, and strange chemical plumes rising into the surrounding sea. The discovery was quickly labeled blue hole sinkholes, but the name doesn't capture the danger. These collapses are appearing alarmingly close to busy shipping routes and delicate coral reef systems. One newly mapped sinkhole lies less than 25 miles from Key West, an area frequented by cruise liners, fishing boats, and diving expeditions. Scientists are scrambling to explain the cause. Some suggest that ancient freshwater aquifers Massive underground water reservoirs buried beneath the seabed are collapsing as seawater pressure changes. Others believe methane gas trapped deep in the Earth's crust is venting upward, creating weak zones that eventually implode. But the most unsettling discovery? Some of these sinkholes appear to be connected by subterranean channels, as if part of a larger collapse system spreading silently beneath the seafloor. If that's true, then Florida's underwater landscape isn't just eroding. It's actively transforming. For now, researchers are installing deep sea sensors and pressure monitors to detect early warning signs. But with new sinkholes being spotted every month, the fear is growing. Is Florida's seafloor unraveling right before our eyes? Travel south to the Florida Keys, and you'll see something breathtaking. Whole stretches of coral reefs glowing in eerie shades of blue, purple, and neon green. At first glance, it looks like a scene out of a fantasy movie. But scientists say this isn't beauty. It's a warning. This phenomenon is called fluorescent bleaching. When corals are under extreme stress, usually from record-breaking heat, they release fluorescent proteins in a last-ditch attempt to protect themselves. In 2025, sea surface temperatures around Florida reached unprecedented highs, and the coral responded by lighting up the ocean like an underwater rave. But this glow is no celebration. It's a silent scream. Entire reef systems are bleaching simultaneously, struggling to survive in water that's simply too hot. 
Satellite imagery has shown the glow spreading across more than 100 miles of reef, a scale scientists have never seen before, and the consequences are devastating. Fish populations are collapsing, invertebrates are dying off, coral die-off rates have doubled in just two years, some marine reserves are being declared ecological disaster zones. The stakes are massive. Florida's coral reefs generate over $8 billion a year through tourism, diving, and fishing. They also protect coastlines from storm surges and erosion. Without them, Florida becomes more vulnerable to hurricanes and flooding, and its seafood industry faces collapse. Marine biologists are racing to save the reefs. They're experimenting with assisted coral reproduction, selective breeding of heat-resistant corals, and even deploying underwater shade structures to reduce water temperature. But these are desperate measures, and time is running out. Florida's glowing reefs may be mesmerizing, but behind the colors lies a harsh reality. One of the planet's most vital ecosystems is fighting for survival, and it may not win. Just when scientists thought Florida's ocean floor couldn't get stranger, a discovery near Apalachee Bay sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. During a routine ocean floor mapping project, researchers using LIDAR scans picked up something they weren't expecting. Symmetrical stone formations scattered across the seabed. At first, they looked like random boulders, but as more scans came in, patterns began to emerge. Long, straight alignments resembling roads, stacked walls, and even concentric rings that looked eerily similar to ceremonial platforms. Carbon dating from sediment samples suggests these structures could be over 10,000 years old, built during a time when sea levels were hundreds of feet lower, and Florida's coastline stretched far into what is now the Gulf of Mexico. That would make these ruins older than Stonehenge, older than the Egyptian pyramids, and possibly among the oldest human-made structures ever found in North America. Some archaeologists cautiously suggest this could have been a Paleo-Indian settlement, submerged as the last ice age ended and oceans rose. Others whisper of connections to the mythical Atlantis or lost civilizations wiped out by ancient climate events. The evidence is piling up. Underwater drones have recovered limestone blocks clearly cut with tools, fragments of pottery embedded in coral, and even bone shards. While scientists remain careful not to leap to conclusions, the site bears a haunting resemblance to the Bimini Road in the Bahamas, another mysterious underwater formation that has long fueled theories of advanced prehistoric cultures. If confirmed, this would completely rewrite the history of human habitation in the Americas. And yet, the ruins lie silently beneath the waves, guarded by time and rising seas, hinting at a forgotten civilization that once called Florida's coast home. If the ruins suggest a lost past, then Florida's ocean is also humming with a mystery unfolding right now. Deep in the waters near the Florida escarpment, oceanographers detected something bizarre. A low rumble followed by rhythmic pulses, repeating every four seconds, 24 hours a day. The sound has been nicknamed the drumbeat. At first, researchers thought it might be tectonic activity, a warning sign of underwater earthquakes. But seismographs ruled that out. Others suggested whales or giant squid until experts analyzed the sound pattern and realized it was far too mechanical and consistent. It's not organic. Sonar scans show no submarines, no mining equipment, no volcanic vents, nothing. Yet the sound continues, resonating through the trench like an endless signal. Some scientists believe it could be caused by underground fluid movement, massive chambers of brine or methane shifting beneath the seafloor under enormous pressure. Others think it may be cavitation zones, where collapsing gas bubbles create shockwaves. But here's the unsettling twist. The drumbeat isn't stationary. Hydrophones tracking the sound show, it's slowly migrating northward toward the continental shelf. At the same time, sensitive instruments are picking up faint micro-vibrations in the surrounding seabed. Could this be a warning sign of a looming seismic collapse? A shifting cavern system preparing to cave in? Or something far stranger? a natural phenomenon we don't yet understand. For now, research vessels are trailing the sound, running its patterns through AI recognition software. But so far, the ocean isn't giving up its secret. One thing's for sure, Florida's seafloor isn't silent, it's speaking, and the message may not be one we're ready to hear. As if collapsing sinkholes and mysterious drumbeats weren't enough, scientists have recently confirmed something 
that could have implications far beyond Florida. Methane plumes erupting from the seafloor. Off the panhandle, NOAA expeditions discovered over 50 methane seeps stretching across the continental shelf. Using advanced sonar and remotely operated vehicles, they observed towering columns of gas bubbles rising nearly 800 feet through the dark water. Methane seeps are not entirely new, but what makes this alarming is the location. These eruptions are happening near the same fault zones and sinkhole regions already showing signs of collapse. It suggests a deeper connection. As the seafloor destabilizes, pockets of frozen methane hydrate, an ice-like substance buried under pressure, may be breaking apart. And here's why it matters. Methane is over 80 times more powerful than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Even small leaks could accelerate climate change dramatically. If large methane reserves beneath Florida's seafloor suddenly destabilize, the results would be catastrophic, both geologically and globally. The risks don't stop there. As gas seeps escape, they create voids in the seafloor, weakening it further and making collapse events more likely. It's a vicious cycle. Methane release triggers sinkholes, which in turn trigger more methane release. Scientists are rushing to install seafloor sensors to monitor hydrate stability. But many fear these leaks are just the beginning of a much larger transformation. Some even warn that if warming currents continue, Florida could become ground zero for one of the most dangerous climate feedback loops on Earth. Florida's oceans are bubbling, glowing, collapsing, and even rumbling with hidden forces. And if these methane plumes are any indication, the story isn't just about Florida anymore. It's about the planet. For decades, Florida divers have whispered about strange creatures lurking in the deep, ghostly eels, shadows that move against the current, sonar blips too large to be fish but too fast to be submarines. Most chalked it up to myth, the kind of campfire stories fishermen passed down. That changed in April 2025. During a deep-sea exploration of a sinkhole near the Dry Tortugas, a NOAA research drone captured something chilling. The footage showed only a few seconds, but it was enough. The tail end of a colossal, fast-moving marine animal, estimated at over 20 feet long. The camera caught a muscular body, sleek and powerful, vanishing into the darkness with a flick of motion that stirred up clouds of sediment. For a moment, bioluminescent flickers lit its outline like sparks in the void, and then it was gone. Frame-by-frame -frame analysis left experts baffled. It wasn't a shark. It wasn't a squid. It wasn't an eel. The movement was wrong, too fluid, too agile, as if perfectly adapted to navigate vertical sinkholes where light never reaches and pressure crushes most life forms. Marine biologists floated theories of an undiscovered apex predator, evolved in Florida's isolated blue holes, thriving where nothing else can. Local divers, meanwhile, nodded knowingly. For years, they'd spoken of phantom predators, haunting the green banana and amberjack holes. Now they finally had proof that something extraordinary was down there. And here's the terrifying possibility. If this creature has remained hidden in Florida's waters all this time, undetected by sonar, what else might be living in the labyrinth of sinkholes and collapsing caverns beneath the ocean floor? Scientists are calling for urgent biological surveys. But until we know more, Florida's deep waters may be home to a predator beyond anything we've cataloged, one adapted to thrive in total darkness, and one we may only have just begun to glimpse. Florida's beauty hides a fragile edge, and now that edge may be slipping away. Recent bathymetric surveys and satellite altimetry data have revealed something scientists once thought impossible. The continental shelf off Florida's coast is moving. The Miami Terrace and the Florida Escarpment, two of the state's massive underwater geological features, are showing signs of creep, the seafloor slowly shifting downward, centimeter by centimeter each year. At first, this might not sound alarming, but in geology, slow movement often builds to sudden collapse, and when shelves collapse, they don't do it quietly. Imagine this, an enormous section of seafloor, miles wide, suddenly shears off and plunges into the depths. The water above it rushes to fill the void. Within minutes, towering waves could form, racing outward at terrifying speed. And Florida's coastline, lined with cities, resorts, and millions of people, would be directly in their path. Simulations already predict that if a major section of the shelf gave way, waves between 5 and 15 feet high 
could slam into Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and the Keys within an hour. It wouldn't be as massive as the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004, but for Florida's low-lying coast, it would be devastating. History offers sobering reminders. Off the Carolinas, the Cape Fear slide left scars 60 miles long across the seafloor, evidence of a landslide that reshaped the ocean floor in an instant. If Florida's shelf behaves the same way, the Sunshine State could face a disaster no hurricane preparedness plan accounts for. That's why researchers are racing to deploy new early warning systems, acoustic sensors, pressure gauges, and satellite-linked monitors watching for the smallest tremor. But with sea levels rising, land subsiding, and more tourists than ever crowding vulnerable shorelines, one question remains. Will Florida see the warning signs in time, or will the ocean shelf collapse without mercy? Florida is often painted as paradise, white sand beaches, warm waters, and endless sunshine. But beneath those waves, a different story is unfolding, one of collapse, mutation, and mystery. We've seen it, sinkholes tearing open the seafloor in real time, glowing reefs screaming in fluorescent distress, methane plumes bubbling toward the surface, and the unsettling drumbeat echoing through the trenches. We've seen ancient ruins hinting at lost civilizations swallowed by the sea, and deadly brine pools spreading like underwater landmines. And now, even predators we can't identify, massive, agile, and perfectly evolved for the abyss, are making their presence known. The message is clear. Florida's ocean floor is alive. It shifts, collapses, glows, and even speaks. For scientists, it's both a treasure trove and a ticking time bomb. For Floridians, it's a reminder that the paradise they live beside may also be one of Earth's most unstable frontiers. And for the rest of us, it's a glimpse of a planet still full of secrets, still capable of humbling us with forces we don't understand. So the next time you walk along a Florida beach and stare at the horizon, remember this. Beneath those waves, the ground is moving, the reefs are glowing, and something enormous may be watching from the dark. Which of Florida's oceanic mysteries unsettled you the most? The glowing reefs, the methane eruptions, or the predator we've only begun to glimpse? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of our planet. Because Florida's ocean isn't just paradise, it's a warning.